let's turn our attention to BatchLink, a new feature found in our Extreme Edition that automates the process of creating hyperlinks between documents. Now, hyperlinks are really critical to providing easy document navigation. But linking together an entire large drawing set can take hundreds of man hours. But what if you could go in and actually automate most of this process? That's the idea behind BatchLink. Let's take a look at it in action. I'm going to open here an unlinked set of drawings. In fact, this same exact set that we just looked at linked together, but this one is unlinked. In a previous video on AutoMark, we created page labels based on information that we pulled directly from the title block. I've gone ahead and I've extracted all of these pages and used the page label as the file name. Essentially, I'm breaking up the drawing set into individual files, and I've dumped all of these files into a folder called Unlinked Sheets. So you can see here, I have a folder with individual sheets, but none of them are linked together. I want to make it easy for my people in the field to be able to move from page to page. So I want to hyperlink the index sheet so that each page will go to the correct page in the set, and I also want to link the elevation callouts to the elevation details. So let's go into review and do that with BatchLink. BatchLink is found under the File menu under Batch. You hit the down arrow and you select Link and then New. BatchLink is first going to analyze the PDFs I choose, automatically generating a list of search terms and corresponding link destinations to process. I'm going to tell it where to pick those files from that I want to link together. So I'm going to say Add Folders, and I'm going to select that Unlinked Sheets folder that I previously put all the files into. And next I'm going to hit Next. The next window is where Review will generate my search terms. First, I need to tell Review where to get my search terms from. In this example, my file name is the exact same as my page label, so I could choose either and it wouldn't matter. You'll also notice is that we have the option of picking directly from the page region, just like I did with AutoMark 2.0. I'm just going to keep, for now, my file name selected. Because my file name actually includes more information than I need for my search term, I'm going to click on Settings to filter out some of that information. I really want Review to only search for that sheet number. For the filter mode, I'm going to select First From Start. And then I'm going to select my filter character, which in this case was a dash. What this means is when searching for terms, Review is going to filter out everything to the right of my dash. So if I have A000-title sheet, it will only search for A000. Review will show you a preview below of what will actually be searched for. If your filter character is not listed here, we have a few uh, default characters here, but if it's not listed, you can always just backspace over and type in whatever you need. Great. So now I'm ready to click on the button, I'm going to say OK here, called Generate. Review quickly analyzes my document set and li lists each search term and its corresponding PDF destination file name. One other thing I want to show you before we actually create the links. Over in the lower right-hand corner, there's a button called Link Options. At the top of this window, you've got some additional search options. I highly recommend that you keep the Use Relative Paths checked. This will be checked by default. What this means is as long as all of your files remain in the same folder together, you can move this folder wherever you want and the links will still work. It's also common practice to add a colored highlight to all of the hi hyperlinks so it's visually obvious that they're linked. This is especially important if you're going to be using them on an iPad where there's no obvious visual representation of a link unless you actually color them. Finally, I wanted to point out the overlap behavior option. This option addresses the issue of when you get sheet updates to your document set and you need to run batch link over again. In most cases, you want to keep this overwrite existing, which is the default option, selected. This will overwrite any existing links so that you don't end up with multiple layers of links on your text.
So that's all I'm going to set. I'm going to say OK. And now we get to the really fun part. Once we've set everything up, all you do is hit Run, and Review gets to work creating those hyperlinks. So I don't have a stopwatch, but I'm going to guess this is about 15 seconds. Review has just created, wow, 126 hyperlinks for you. Let's go ahead and close that and open up the index sheet and take a look at those. So you'll see all of these are now hyperlinked. And you can go in and click on them to get to the pages. And also notice we have our elevation callout details hyperlinked. So you can go directly to those pages. We think you'll be amazed at how much time this feature will save you with your hyperlinking. Let's go back and take a look at a few other advanced options you have. In the lower left hand corner, you have the option to save your batch link configuration by clicking on Save Config. If you click this button, when you click on the batch link feature again, you have the option of opening an existing file that was saved here. This will save you some time in having to generate the search terms again. Finally, you'll notice above that we have an Import and Export button. If you're working with a very large drawing set, you might prefer to edit or update the link destinations in Excel. In this case, you would generate your link terms, and then you would click on Export to export the file. Then you could open it up in something like Excel, and you could work directly in Excel to add new links or to update your existing links. There are even options as a manual process to create links that point to individual places in a document, which are snapshot views. The help guide has more information on this. As I mentioned before, batch link is mainly used to link sheets together within a drawing set, as well as to link elevation callouts to their destinations. For batch link to work, the text in your drawing set must be searchable. If you have a scanned document, you'll just need to run OCR first before you run batch link to make the text searchable. That's it for batch link. Let us know how you're liking it.